with an answer that totally avoids the question, you know, like a politician does, right? Now, recently, somebody asked me a question, and I answered it. Then they called me a sick, sarcastic bastard. I didn't deserve that. My parents were married. If they would have called me a sick, sarcastic asshole, I would have had to hold my hands off, right? But, you know, recently, the question I get asked the most, uh, you know, besides, are you flipping nuts? Because I think that's a statement that needs no affirmation. But lately, I've been asked, what do you think of Trump, right? Well, that's an easy question to answer because I think Trump's an asshole, right? Now, for your Trump supporters out there, which I know there's a few, right? I know you can be sensitive. Now, I am uniquely qualified to call him an asshole. Why? It takes one to know one, right? <laughs> now, I got, a little, I got a little rhyme. It's a little short one for him, right? Now, here we go. Because they had, they had to choose from a rich asshole or a rich crook, right? That's two bad choices, right? No matter what you choose, you're going to choose a bad choice, right? I chose not to choose, right? That's just like walking up to the big wheel, big wheel of fate, giving it a spin, Trump, yay! You know, so let's see what he does, right? Everybody sit back, you know? It's not like us Americans haven't uh, elected an idiot president before, you know? I mean, you know, choose one. You know? You know, but uh, lately, let's see, oh. The, the reason why everything's so messed up in this world is there's just too many stupid people in the world, right? Now, we used to be able to get rid of stupid people, right? They used to do stupid things and die, right? I know it's tragic, but hey, what can you do? They're stupid, right? But you see, one day a stupid person did something and they didn't die, right? Now, stupid people don't know they're stupid, right? So they're sitting around thinking, how could this happen to me? I couldn't possibly be this stupid. So they sued a rich person, right? <laughs> now, now, the rich person, they don't like to give their money to nobody, let alone a stupid person, right? So the stupid people, like, so the rich people get together, we gotta do something about this stupid people taking our money, right? So they said, well, how about we just make sure that if they do something stupid, they definitely die. They can't sue us if they're dead. Well, yeah, that'd be good. But what if all the stupid people die? Yeah, who's going to tend the flocks and fields? Who's going to pay the taxes? How will we live our exorbitant lifestyles? Oh, yeah, crap, didn't think of that. Uh, man, all right, we got to come up with another idea. Uh, I know what we'll do. We're going to put warning labels on all the stupid stuff that stupid people do, right? So if they, if they sue us, we at least hold our hands up and say, hey, we tried to warn you, and they can't sue us, right? So that worked. It made it harder for the stupid people to sue the rich people, right? We should be happy, right? 
Now there was consequences, right? You see, because some stupid people can actually read, right? And they're reading these warning labels, right? So well, less stupid people are dying, right? Now you think we should be happy, less stupid people are dying, right? No, no, there's consequences, right? These stupid people aren't just staying alive, they're reproducing, right? And they're reproducing more stupid people, right? Darwin just can't keep up. He's gotta come up with new and creative ways to get rid of stupid people. Hey, wait a minute. We haven't get rid of a lot of jihadists lately, haven't we? Yeah, I'll let you think about that one. We got one more before we go. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.